Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome back to my channel. So I'm making this video for anyone who's interested in careers on Wall Street and investment banking or more specifically sales and trading roles. Um, I worked in trading at Goldman Sachs for several years, specifically algorithmic trading. So I just wanted to share kind of what a day in the life looks like um, in that role at Goldman Sachs. Uh, once again, for anybody who's kind of doing some career exploration and think that this might be something that they're interested in. So typically my day started around 5 a.m., waking up, getting some coffee, and making my way commuting into the office. Um, we usually try to arrive there around 6 a.m. and go straight to our uh, gym that was in our office building at Goldman. Um, which was super nice, by the way. Uh, you didn't even have to bring workout clothes with you. Uh, they had them there for you. Um, so you just change there, get a quick workout in, shower, whatever, uh, head up, get some coffee, and then kind of head to the desk. So after working out and everything, I'd try to get to the desk by about, you know, no later than 7.30. Um, that's typically when most people would kind of get to the desk no later than. Uh, and immediately I'm starting to uh, answer client calls, emails, logging into my Bloomberg terminal and um, talking to clients through the chat there. Um, basically just touching base with my clients to see, uh, you know, what their, you know, what they were kind of some of their trade objectives that day. Um, they would probably be asking me, you know, some of my recommendations on um, how to execute certain trades that they uh, may be had some concerns about, especially when it came to finding liquidity in the market. Um, so a lot of what I would do kind of between 7.30 and 9.30, the opening bell, is just touching base with clients and, and seeing what their objectives were for that day and how I could help out and make some recommendations. Um, and that might be using certain algos or certain um, going to certain markets uh, directly to uh, complete their trade objectives. So 9.30, opening bell, markets open. Um, it's always a really exciting time on the desk. The trade floor is absolutely buzzing. A lot of you know clients calling in, um, either making sure that the orders got in or that they're getting fills for like market on open orders. Um, it can be a very hectic time. And you know, especially if there's a lot of bumps in the road, um, if there's like issues with uh, you know a certain exchange or something, you know, that always presents some problems. But um, basically you're just talking very closely with your clients at that point, making sure that they're um, you know, getting their trade executions properly and making sure that their orders are coming in and flowing down smoothly. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, after two years, uh, you know, working on the trade floor, it was still, you know, just as an exciting time, you know, two years into the role as it was day one. Um, so it's a really unique kind of environment to work in. From about nine, you know, 9.30 uh, opening bell to probably about noon, um, I think it's kind of usually Depending on the day, you know, it might be a little bit busier if there's a certain IPO um, that's going off that day. But typically, it starts to wind down a little bit as you approach noon. Um, so during this time, I'm kind of uh, usually maybe checking trade execution reports for my clients and sending those out, um, continuing to touch base with clients and, um, you know, fielding any questions that they have as far as uh, trades go and how they should execute a certain trade or what algorithm to use um, that might best suit their needs. But you know, some of that quiet period, um, I might look at certain trades for clients and look at the trade execution and see maybe even what we could do better next time uh, and do some analyzing on uh, their trade flow and present some solutions for them. Usually around noon, maybe one o'clock, uh, would be a time where I might uh, jump off the desk, run and grab some lunch. Um, but typically everyone uh, usually brings their lunch back to the desk and kind of eats and does a working lunch. Um, I don't think, you know, unless you're doing a client lunch and meeting with a client, um, you don't really go off and take like a 30 minute or an hour break for sure. Uh, you usually bring something back to the desk and um, eat and kind of work through uh, lunch. And then from, you know, lunchtime to four o'clock closing bell, um, once again, typically, unless something is out of the ordinary, um, like a big IPO going off or um, maybe an exchange had an issue, like a system-wide issue, um, and there's a lot of issues kind of rolling in and, and questions from clients coming in, um, typically it's a pretty quiet period, um, you know, from about noon to 
uh, maybe 233 is when it starts to ramp back up uh, with you know volume, trade volume um, going into the close. So during that kind of a little bit lull in the day uh, is once again, I might take some time to look at some trade execution reports and analyze those uh, for clients. And also maybe take some time to uh, reach out to clients and do some sales calls to recommend maybe a new product that we're rolling out or a new algorithm that we're uh, rolling out that might treat uh, that might uh, actually uh, be useful for a for a client and their trade objectives and strategy. So that's a time where you know I'm I'm still touching base with clients and you know doing some sales calls, maybe reaching out to um, brand new clients that haven't been onboarded with us as um, uh, trade partners, and you know talk to them and kind of uh, sell them on you know. Uh, myself as as a uh, representative for them and you know the the suite of services that we offer during this time I'm also answering a lot of calls and emails on um, you know it's it's unfortunate but sometimes there are issues with uh, our you know receivables and billing um, or clearing certain trades on the backside so um, you know I'm the point of contact for our clients so they would, you know, first reach out to me, and then, you know, I've worked hand in hand and very closely with our uh, operations and receivables team to, you know, our back office team to, um, you know, help clear up any issues for our clients. So, uh, you know, those guys work extremely hard, you know, with us, um, and you know, always working hand in hand with them to, you know, help uh, deliver the best uh, outcome for the client. So going into close, it's uh, once again, just like open, a very busy time, um, especially with clients trying to get those like market on close orders in, make sure that those, you know, route in properly uh, and that they're getting the uh, executions, you know, right, after, you know, right at closing. Um, so a lot of clients are calling in and hitting you in Bloomberg chat or emails, um, you know, to make sure that those, those trades are, uh, you know, executing properly. So it's a very busy time um, on the desk going into the close for sure. Right after the close, um, you know, once again, making sure it's all about the client and making sure that uh, the trade executions are flowing down properly. Um, sometimes there's even issues where clients not maybe seeing a fill and, you know, from my point of view, it should have been filled uh, how they sent in the order. And I might actually have to reach out to the exchange uh, on behalf of the client and, and kind of work through that and get an explanation for them as well. Um, so I'd say probably within, uh, you know, about an hour after close, probably from four until five, um, it's still a pretty busy time, generally speaking, um, you know, communicating with clients, sending back trade executions and, and fills, um, and working through any issues that may have uh, happened along, you know, through that throughout the day. Typically, I'd say I would usually leave work around, um, probably 536, maybe a little bit after, depending on what was going on. So on average, you're looking about probably, you know, um, close to an 11 hour day, I would say. Um, and then after, you know, leaving work, either go get food or drinks with some colleagues or go out to a client dinner um, and, and touch base with clients as well. And then after that, commute home and, uh, you know, wind down, relax with my wife and, uh, you know, hang out a little bit, go to bed and, uh, you know, wake up and do it all over again. So I hope you like this video, giving you a little bit of a snapshot into uh, kind of a day in the life of a Goldman Sachs uh, trader. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this video and if you'd like to hear anything more specific about working on Wall Street, um, if you're doing some career exploration in that, in that field or in finance in general. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments and uh, appreciate you watching. See you next time.